tell you what, there's that's how you come back from a commercial <laughs> break. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Neither was I. That was the new single, Forward Bound, by the brilliant Mary Coughlin to welcome you back. And she's one of the most popular singers to emerge from Ireland in recent times, gracing the Irish music scene for over 30 years. Yes, since carving out a timeless career with a legion of devoted fans around the globe, the singer has recorded 15 solo albums wow. and has sold out some of the most prestigious venues in the world. Now, her most recent album launched last year to rave reviews and she joins us now on the line. Mary Cotlin, a very good morning to you. How are you? Hi, Mary. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I it's pity I'm not there. I know, but we wish you we wish you were here in the studio with us. Um, listen, that, that single's bouncing, by the way. That's a cracking tune. Um, tell us, first of all, about the single and how and when you recorded it. Did you record it during uh, lockdown last year? Tell us about it. I did the album um, in 2019 in London uh, with Pete Lannister. And um, I came home after finishing the album on about the 20th of February. And it was just all beginning to kick off at that time, talk yeah. about uh, Corona and stuff. And I was going to go back to do another vocal on some of the songs. You know, sometimes you're not happy with them mm -hmm. when, you, when you listen. And um, instead of that, we finished it over the phone, basically, or over the internet. Uh, Pete fixed it in London. And every day he'd send me um, what he'd been working on. And I'd, you know, tell him I didn't like some, something and he'd fix it, you know, like I'd, Strange, very, very strange, very yeah. working. Mary, it's a, it's a sound that is slightly different for you. As Simon said, we didn't quite expect that coming <laughs> off the break. It feels very kind of theatrical, is it? No, it's, it's kind of my attempt. Well, OK, so I, I was I'm nearly 65. I was 64. I was going to release it in May for my 64th birthday. And the last two albums I did were um, Live and Kickin', which was in Vicar Street after I had a heart attack. <laughs> about eight months later, and the one before that I did in my home with Eric Visser. So I hadn't done a huge album, you know, for years with strings and horns and, you know, all bells and whistles. And I wanted, I actually wanted this time for it to be um, kind of a commercial success. You know what I mean? I want, I did, you know, it's not really an art album. The House of Ill Repute was a very arty album. Yeah. Um, some of the albums I've done before were kind of you know, jazz, kind of, you know, more jazzy albums. And this one I wanted to do, I just wanted to make a very big statement, you know. Well, you are so, making a big statement, yeah. but I also think you're being very honest there, Mary, because so many musicians would say we want to make art, which is totally fair enough, but the bills have to be paid as well. <laughs> I've done that, you know, um, and I just wanted something that would get played on the radio. And the last single from this album was the most played song on uh, Irish radio last year, which Fantastic. I'm very grateful for. Um, all Mary, the people who play Irish music. Mary, we've spoken to uh, dozens of musicians and performers and artists over the past 10, I suppose, 10, 11 months now, um, and spoken to them about, you know, what they miss about, you know, their normal routines, which would have involved touring and gigging. But in a different kind of attack for you, Mary, what's the, what has the 10 months of lockdown been like for you personally, taking away the fact that the bulk of your life, which is your music, your performing, your work, was taken away from you. How has it been for you? Um, it's, it's been OK most of the time. The first three months I accepted it. Um, I cancelled the... I canceled, all the gigs were cancelled. I had 35 gigs, cancelled them. Kind of figured it would all be over in a few months, you know? We had a beautiful summer and... Um, you know, I got to it, we did gigs in my garden, and we did gigs in the house on the rainy days, and we got to it. But as it went on, longer and longer, and I think this, I, I must admit, this, this last three months has been the most difficult for me. Mm. In fact, the last three weeks, um, more, more so than anything else, just the winter and January and stuff, you know. The, um, the darker and, days don't and, help either, Mary, do they? Yeah, and re realising that it's not going to be back to normal, I think my next... Um, the next gig that I have actually uh, is May 2022 in Victor Street. Wow. So, and is that, is that realistically when you would expect to walk onto a stage again, Mary? Well, it was, it, yeah, it was um, advertised at Souls for October 1st, 2020, so they, moved, they kept moving it, and now realistically they said they expect it to be May 22 before we get back to Victor Street. Mm -hmm. I have an English tour um, as well. 
I've cancelled them and re removed them so many times. Yeah. I'm kind of afraid to announce another thing. Like, but um, it seems it seems next year uh, will be you know. And in the meantime, we'll continue. If the weather picks up, we'll do more concerts. Yeah. With you. I love eggs in the garden. What I was going to um, say is that, is that important to you, Mary? Because we mentioned in the intro that you've got you've got you know a, a legion of fans and they're very loyal fans to you, but to keep that connect with with your audience. I mean, as you say, there was concerts in the garden and in the house. That was clearly very important to you, just for your own sanity, apart from anything else. Well, yeah, and and for the lads in the band as well. We yeah. got together uh, once a week on a Wednesday, and I had full lights, full production. I got the sound engineer light. Well, I live with the lighting guy, John. <laughs> And we had lights and sound and full everything in the garden, full band, when it was safe to do so. I think it was uh, June, was it? Mm. So yes. we continued on that for, for a while. We did tell concerts because we were driven away with the covers. <laughs> um, we looked forward to it, and my son is the chef, so he cooked for us um, every week. And uh, he cooked vegetarians for the vegetarians, and he cooked. He he had great because it was a, it's a day out for him as well, you know. Yeah, of course. So, and had, he had to keep practice, and then he came up with really inventive uh, uh, foods for the lads to eat. So, so uh, it was a bit of crack, you know. Mary, you, we said in the intro there the amount of uh, albums you've sold, the amount of prestigious venues you've played to. What's that kind of pinch me moment when you look back on it all? I was looking for a Billy Holiday thing this morning because I want to learn some um, some songs um, for a, a, uh, hopefully a, a, an online gig that's coming up. I went into my office and um, there's a sold out poster, <laughs> the only one I've ever kept, sold out for the Sydney Opera House um, wow. in 2000 and, uh, I think it was 2010. Um, I, I kind of kept that poster and it's up on the wall of the opera. I don't know why I keep that one. But I, 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 I I'll like tell you why you keep it, Mary, because as soon as you mentioned it, a smile broke across your face yeah. and it brought back, clearly brought back very, very happy memories to you. Yeah, and I brought my kids down for that tour. There you my go. daughter was living in Australia and I brought the two younger ones down and everybody was at the... And my sister came and she brought her son. I mean, my, I was like, you know, it was a great tour. And to have sold out the Opera House in Sydney, you know. Well, this is Mary, as, so, the, as the title of your single says, Forward Bound. Um, we really appreciate your time this morning. There are brighter days ahead, please God, for all of us. And hopefully we'll get to see you on a stage soon near us. Listen, stay safe and well. Thanks again. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. Back, in, back to the studio. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. See you in Vicker Street. <laughs> right, Mary Coughlin's new single, Forward Bound, is now available online on all the usual platforms. But after the break, we're talking Six Nations with former Italy out-half Ian McKinley ahead of Ireland's big clash with Wales. Did you know they're playing today? Something's yeah, happening Yeah, they're today. playing today. Yeah. See you in a minute.